You've just moved some furniture around the room. The new layout looks gorgeous. But then as you look down at the carpet, you see where all the furniture have been. You see where the footprints are, where the legs are weighted, or weighted down on the carpet. You see the areas where the carpet hasn't been exposed to so much footwear. What can you do? We've recently been asked by, by one of our lovely clients, what can we do about that area under the bed? Because when you move it, it suddenly looks beautiful under there because there was no traffic, but the area right next to it where all the feet traffic goes looks really matted down. So today I wish to explain to you why that would happen. I have two samples here. On the one side over here, we have a high wool content carpet. Now what happens with wool? It has got a natural spring to it. That means that if we clean this carpet or expose it to some moisture and also run the vacuum cleaner over it, that that spring in the carpet jumps back to more of the original size and orientation of the fiber. Where, over this side, we have a synthetic carpet. This fiber, which is these little pieces at the top that makes the carpet up, are made of a plastic type fiber. And what would happen with these types of fabrics? They will weigh down and they won't necessarily stand up as well as a wool carpet would. So what would happen is a carpet like this will sit on the floor in the bedroom with a very heavy leg weighing down on it. To the side of that, there will be a lot of foot traffic. We come to the bed at night, we stand there before we get into bed. All that traffic weighs that carpet down. Also, under the feet of the furniture, you will have the underlay that sits under and then the carpet over the top. Now, sometimes when we clean carpets, when we go to somebody's home, we'll notice that there's a deep indentation and we'll work more on that area to lift that fibers up. Naturally, the synthetic fibers will be a little bit better, but not greatly improved. Whereas our wool fiber will much better uh, be improved compared to the synthetic. The other thing to consider is that that weight of the leg on the fur on the carpet will also indent the underlay. So in this case, it's only a sample of an underlay, but this is a good quality underlay and it won't indent as bad as some cheaper underlays. But sometimes if we do that and we clean the section where the foot has the weighted down on the carpet, you will see the indent and no matter what we do, that indent can't totally be lifted out. If you have a wool carpet, on the other hand, that is much better to be improved and you get a better result to hide those imperfections. And the same thing applies to the areas where there was foot traffic as well. It will release the soiling better and also lift that fibers much better. So if it comes to you choosing your next carpet, do speak to the people at the flooring shop because they can advise you which one of these two would work better. I trust that was helpful. Thank you very much and have a good day.